Hello, fourth grade. I'm here to talk about author's purpose with you today. I am in your textbook on page 516, your reading textbook. Remember, an author's purpose is the reason or reasons that an author has for writing. The four main purposes are to persuade or to convince you of something, to inform, to express ideas or feelings, and to entertain. Before you read, you should try to make a prediction on what you think the author's purpose is, and that will determine how fast or how slowly you read. So let's look on page 517, A Life at Sea. So I'm gonna do number one, strategy. What do you predict this article will be about? What makes you think that? What might the author's purpose be? How should you read this? So I see it's called A Life at Sea. Based on the title, I think this article is going to tell what it's like to live at sea. I think the author's purpose will probably be to inform. I may need to read this more slowly and carefully than I would read a story for entertainment. So let's start the passage now, A Life at Sea. You follow along while I read. Picture a graceful clipper ship out on the ocean. The wind billows its sails as it glides smoothly over the waves. For the crew, life on board must be relaxed and easy, right? Let's look at number two, skill. Which author's purpose relates to writing about the beauty of life at sea? Watch for another possible purpose as you read. So this first paragraph, it talks about a graceful clipper ship gliding smoothly over the waves. The words help me picture a relaxed scene. The author seems to be writing to express a feeling or emotion. Now let's read on and see if there's another purpose besides to express feelings. Picture yourself as a cabin boy. You signed on because you wanted adventure. Well, you might find adventure and you might even become a captain yourself one day. The skills of sailing are called seamanship. On board the ship, you might learn which rope knots you need and how to tie them. Perhaps you would learn how to measure the ship's rate of speed and the depth of the water. You certainly would learn to tell where you are and what weather is coming your way. So let's look at question number three. Why do you think the author told you about some of the things you could learn on a clipper ship? Did you read more slowly or reread any parts of this, this section? The author was trying to give information in this paragraph, so I had to read more slowly and reread some parts. And let's finish off the passage. Still, you are a cabin boy, which means you have many chores. You have to swab, scrub the deck, polish the brass, waterproof the rigging with tar, catch rainwater in a barrel, clean dirty living areas on the ship, carry coal for the stove, and, well, you get the picture. At night, you crawl into a hammock, fall asleep to the sound of the ship's bell, marking the time and dream of faraway places. And number four, the strategy. How did predicting the author's purpose help you understand the article better? Predicting the author's purpose helped me know what to expect and how quickly or slowly to read parts of the article.